I get him to crumple up the bills up and throw him on stage. Make a game out of it, put like a hip on stage, and they have to like try So, alright. YouTube idea. Cinematic masterpiece. I have a hidden camera on me. I fake insanity in a public place until they call the cops. Cops come, I fake insanity, yada, 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 until either I get in the drunk tank <laughs> to where I will insert the camera in my anus ah! and record what it's like on the inside of a jail cell for 24 hours. Shut up, you're no explosive. No, no, no spoilers for the audience. And if they do 5150 me, like they rightfully should, my tax dollars are not going towards jails. They're going towards health. Health. So, mental health. Mental health. And I think mental health awareness in men should be a fucking very more talked about issue. But that's besides the point. So, if they 5150 me, I will film the inside of, um, what do they call that? The fucking a grippy sock fucking vacation. That's what the fuck I'm gonna film. <laughs> and, and little do they know, I'm fully sane and sound of mind, and I understand myself on a deep enough level to where I feel like I can provide a lot of healing for the people inside of in in the house. You know what I'm saying? And um, one thing that really interests me is like I see myself in every person I meet. Uh, the trauma they, trauma usually manifests itself in the same ways in people I grew up with a manipulative mother who would um, believe her own lies essentially to like keep justifying her actions but I found through understanding like through like sitting there and having compassion for her and and like understanding more about her childhood to see that she she was a uh, hurt little girl who didn't who didn't know herself who was forced to grow up so early and the people that she placed her foundation of understanding on herself upon were the perspectives of people who were using her, who were taking advantage of her because she was pretty, who were going down the complete wrong direction and didn't know themselves. So she did the best she could with what she had. And me growing up with very similar, not similar, ma'am. I don't know, I'm super blessed. But I feel like teachers come in my life at the right times, but that's any, everybody's a teacher. You know what I'm saying? Every person you meet has, they are a reflection of you. They are God looking back at itself. You gotta realize, it's everything is God in drag. And through that, you, you see the lessons in just going about your fucking day. They say, oh, did you go to college? I did a year and I realized life is college. You know what I mean? And it's like money doesn't come through what the fuck you sit down and grind for. Money comes through the fucking heart you have and the heart you have will lead you the more you follow your intuition the more you'll be put in the places that you're supposed to be and you'll end up in with the um the what's it called opportunities that'll lead to your success you know we're naturally gifted we are not we all have a purpose here on this earth whether it's whether whatever the fuck it is life has it's just life unfolding life like you're going to be exactly where the fuck you're supposed to be and you can be totally out of alignment with that and depressed if you don't fucking follow your heart you know if you're too scared or if you're too afraid to this that the other to fucking go for what you really fucking want to do that yeah man anyways um what was i saying stone rant what started it oh yeah yeah so i feel my purpose on this earth 5150 Right? <laughs> Alright, social experiment. I act crazy, get 5150, tie the camera in my ass, and go in the fucking mental hospital, right? And document the whole thing. And um, hopefully learn more about the minds of those we deem insane. And, and kind of like dig, not in a malicious way, but dig in a, I'm here for you, right? Like, it's, it's safe to talk to me to hear about like what made them the ways that they are. And yeah, sure, there's genetic illnesses, this, that, the other, but genetic illness, addiction, fuck all the shit that we call diseases. Addiction isn't a fucking disease, dude. It, it, you call it whatever the fuck you want. It's like you lose the power of your own word. Every time you tell yourself you're gonna stop doing something and you do it again. Don't set rules for yourself. Don't set boundaries. Don't, it's like an eating disorder, right? It's, drugs are the same thing as an eating disorder. You develop a bad relation by, wish, relationship with food by guilting yourself for it. By, by feeling shameful about what you're eating, by placing your sense of self-worth on what you're eating. Same thing with what you're doing on the outside. You can look at my life and call me a fucking mess. Listen to me. 
listen to me and see who the fuck I am. Also, anyways, point fucking being is, um, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, yeah, I want to, I want to understand these people. I want to see what makes them tick. I want to see where they need to be seen, what parts of themselves need to let to see daylight because until you do that you're gonna fuck keep seeing the same patterns over and over into the ground the more you shame yourself guilt yourself tell yourself you're i'm fuck i keep doing this i keep doing this what's wrong with me there's nothing wrong with you enjoy it fucking let it happen let it run its course ride your wave have your hoe phase as soon as you want to all ladies out there have your hoe phase all fucking uh raised catholic school girls fucking going to call fucking do whatever fuck you want and don't guilt yourself for it It'll stop being fun after a while, and your your avatar will know when it's life. Life life comes in chapters, right? People are chapters. Everything is temporal. You learn certain lessons through certain seasons of life. You know what I mean? Have your own face. Be a kid. Enjoy your youth while you can. I, I, I went too hard too fast. I, I fasted down on the bone. I gave everything I owned away. I devoted my entire life to serving God without getting to serve John because John is... The biggest enjoying John for what the fuck John wants to do is the biggest gift I could do for God, because it's God experiencing it through me. And that's the, the Hare Krishnas got it pretty much close to the truth. Out of any religion, Hare Krishnas are probably closest. They call their food prasadam, which means as they eating their food, it's a serving to the Lord. The Lord is enjoying it through them. They chant, they dance, they pray, they go out in nature, they enjoy their lives, and that's the biggest fucking thing we could do to serve God. You know, self-surrender is dope and all. That's how you get an intense connection with God. Like a personal relationship. Jesus had a personal relationship with God. Be still and know your God, is what he said. Jesus was a fucking... You know what I'm saying? And we could all cultivate that inside of ourselves. The more we listen to our intuition, the more that our intuition will speak. God will speak through us. And the more that we do surrender what we want to do for... I don't know. I went. I, my natural Capricorn, astrology, trauma, whatever the fuck it is, is balls to the wall like i'm comparing myself constantly to all the best of the most extreme teachings that, that i was reading online and it's all, all it all comes down to self surrender i know i probably had granola on my teeth for that whole time but but any any form that that may come in fasting i was i fasted down to the bone i gave every personal possession i owned away i i did seminal retention for a year i was completely abstinent from drugs i i that's not true. I did acid once during that time, but it's like the most intense spiritual highs I've had have been completely sober. From just being completely present in the moment, you unlock a certain part of your brain or a certain part of your DNA that allows you to experience life through the lens of God. Uh, they, they call it nirvana. They call it fucking whatever the fuck. Satori. What, it's, it's, it's real. And any one of us could achieve it. You are God. I am you and me and realizing that feeling that moment is seeing and experiencing and knowing that you are it and it is you. You are one with everything and it's all perfect. It's pure bliss. There's nothing wrong. The war, the famine, the disease, your hatred towards yourself, others, it's all, it all crumbles away and you see the, there's nothing else. It's, it's, I'm getting, yeah, I don't know, man. Um, and I think that's our purpose on this earth is to remember that. And, and I think right, right now, me living my life as John, doing what I want to do, being 23, doing drugs, having fun, fucking being a solid motherfucker throughout all of it, learning the lessons in every experience. I, I, I'm seeing a different side of life right now. I've been blessed with trauma. I've been blessed with wealth. I've been blessed with all these different homes to, so that I could experience the spectrum of human trauma and human pain. They say generational trauma is passed down through families. Well, I've lived with so many different families. I've seen so many different sides of the human disease, the, the sadness, the pain. Like I, I, I see myself in everybody and I think it's my purpose on this earth. To, I don't know, man. Be a fucking be of service. That's all we're here to do. The greatest sense of fulfillment you will ever receive is not through getting something, but by giving something to somebody else. Um, I don't know, man. That was just a little rant, a little stone rant. First YouTube video.
I know I probably had shit in my mouth that all the time. It's all good. Um, but yeah, I'm raw. You, this is going to be a memoir of my life. Um, raw, plain as day, John, the good, the bad, whatever the fuck you want to say about me. It does not matter. And I hope you enjoy. Peace. That was cool. Did that come out smoothly?